We got going on. What are we doing? Oh, that's cool. There's two two places I gotta look. One of these up. Uh, one is. When is this going to be live? Are we live right now? Oh, we're live right now. Uh, uh, okay, on. Uh, Johnny just set these up and he walked away. So I'm kind of here on my own and I'm not quite sure what we're doing. He uh, explained to me I had a package. Oh, here he is. So we got a package here that he just brought in from outside. What's going on, everybody? We have a special delivery today. I got something in the mail that I think my dad's going to really enjoy. He hasn't seen it yet, so I wanted him to get the surprise on live camera. So he's going to open this thing up right now. I'm going to try to see if I can show you guys. Who doesn't like a surprise? Uh, let's see if I can flip these cameras real quick. Okay. Is this too loud? Is this music too loud? All right, so here it is, everybody. We were sent. What is it? Introducing Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. So I this, is rise a, this is a VIP box, guys. On, on uh, Scotch whiskey. On YouTube, I'm sorry, that's backwards, but it says introducing Johnny Walker's Johnny Walker High Ride Blended Scotch Whiskey. Keep wow. walking. So we're gonna open this thing up, see what's inside. Super exclusive stuff they sent us this box as a vip package so we're very thankful right, anybody out there that's at uh, johnny walker i've heard of johnny walker we johnny thank walker. you wow. so, oh wait okay. look look now they can read it <laughs> what oh yeah now you, you got guys can read it how funny all right so you get the mirror image you guys can read it here look at this and you guys can read it here Wow. So here we go, everybody. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna show you without spilling anything. Right. Right? Oh, mackerel! Oh, check this out. So we have two bottles in here of uh, the Sir Johnny Walker. Oh, hang on. Great presentation we got here, guys. Yeah, really. Can't get the bottle out. I don't Johnny want, for Johnny's. I don't want to. Uh, We'll break it now. So this is a this is a Johnny Walker High Rye blended Scotch whiskey. Wow! Look at that. That's pretty crazy. Show show TikTok there. That's Look cool. That. And then this is your traditional twelve year aged Johnny Walker Black, right? Nothing. Nothing certainly special. Blended Scotch whiskey. You know the drill, right? Another beautiful bottle. Wow, cool, Johnny. What are all these? Thank you from Poland. Appreciate that tip, guys. Oh, cherries. Guys, we got cherries here. We got cherries. We have, I think these are. Uh, these are these are all, they, these are all like bitters. bitters. Yeah, these are all bitters to make yeah, I guess are... we had to make a drink. That's what they're telling us to do. <sighs> telling us to make a cocktail with it. Let's hold this Spicite Manhattan. Oh, so these are, wait, this is, it says Manhattan on it. Ooh, these guys back there. Old Manhattan. Rolling. Eastlay, space side. So I guess that's what we do with these. And actually, if we're really not sure, we can always get a little bit further description here. Born from the blend, Johnny Walker's introduced proudest, newest innovation, Johnny Walker High Ride. All right, cool. I think this is a mixing glass we got here. This wow, is nice. Oh. Good stuff. Look at that. Oh, very nice. Very cool. Oh, wow. These are obviously some, these are for the cherries, right? So this is what you're going to, you're going to put these uh, on the cherry. You're going to put this in the glass. These Thank are, you, Kyle. Appreciate that, man. These are metal. Fancy. Fancy. Good a little, stuff. A little uh, Good stuff. spoon and fork action. Cool. Let's make one. I guess we're going to make a man out. Maybe we should smoke it, too. Oh, okay. And
So this is gonna pain him to make a Manhattan without, no, it, without being able to drink it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta control it, right? You gotta enjoy it, you gotta sip it, you gotta be responsible. So it means you gotta turn it on and turn it off. Oh, cherries. Right now I'm turning it off. I turned it off for a couple weeks. So we're gonna show you, we'll make a Manhattan. Check out brandied cherries. Wow. Cool stuff. Johnny, give me some ice. Let's get some ice going. Let's see who we got some comments out here. Um both here. Is it hard not drinking? No, it's not hard. It's um everything's in we're all habitual, right? We all do things in, in routine and just gotta break the routine a little bit. At least for me, I'm in the habit right now. I'm drinking uh I'm drinking a lot of seltzers, a lot of uh, non-alcoholic seltzers and, and things like that. So it's all good. So uh, let's see, Jess, how many drinks is too much for you? How many drinks is too much? Well, you know what? I look at it this way. You got to keep things in moderation, right? So everything that you do, whether it's your eating habits, your habits of gambling, whatever it might be, keep it in perspective, enjoy it. Um, but you know, it's gotta be, there's gotta be a balance. And so just felt like we just got back from uh, Utah. We were away in Utah over a week ago and you know, we were doing a lot of sipping, a lot of sampling, a lot of testing. And I said, you know what? I gotta just chill out for a little while. We're going to pump the brakes. So I pumped the brakes and now I'm going to just uh, wait until probably Thanksgiving or so. Well, you know, join my cocktails then. Somebody else tipped us here. Let's see. Thank you for the tip. Who is that? Abdro. A Abdo. Abdo, thank you, my man from Detroit. This is hard to do with these two things. Abdo, this drink is for you, man. Let's do this. Can I move this over this way? This way so we're looking at the same. Don't block the TikTok. I'm sorry, TikTokers. Hold on. Why can't I do this? Move over the laptop. Yeah, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. oh, our friend, our friend from Clearwater is calling us right now. I can't take that. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, guys. Is that better? Ooh. Yeah, this way we're kind of in the same. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. That's it. Are we good? All right, all right let's do it. Going on. Now we're making. We're gonna be making a. I uh, gotta make it with this stuff. It's the high rye. Well, you're drinking it. So what do you want? Which one do you want? A rich and rounded blend of whiskeys crafted from rye, barley, wheat, married with the finest single malts. I guess we're gonna go with that one. Okay. Let's go with that. Let me see what these. So, a so good this is an Islay Manhattan bitter. Let me just, I'm going to smell them all and tell them which one. So a good Manhattan anyway is, is, is good, is made with rye. I, I prefer rye when I make my Manhattan. Um, most people use, you know, you use your bourbons, you can use your whiskey, mm -hmm. you, you can use any of the, the smell spirits. That smells delicious over there. I don't know how we're going to be able to see. You're good. You're good. We'll, we'll move it up. This is the Space Side Manhattan. These are all board. different bitters here, guys. Check this out. I got a new board too. I'm gonna christen this this one. This one is not. Ooh. This board is not uh, cedar. This one smells almost like a cologne. Smells can't wait like to, a cologne. Can't wait to drink that. This one's a lowland Manhattan. I wish I knew what any of this smells like cologne. Wow. Let's see. Cucumber. Yeah, I, I, I got cucumber. Some. I got some cube right. coming in there. Yeah, definitely does. And last nice. one is the Lowland Manhattan. Let's see here. Oh, do we have a? Uh, let's see. They're all very different. Oh, that's that is different. What is in there? I don't know. Orange or aromatic bitters for a Manhattan. Uh, you could use either, but these are all different type of bitters that I've mm. never heard of. So we're gonna try these out. It's all preference there. Uh, oh, I just stuck my nose in it. Let's go with the uh, that one. They have here. This one? No. This is really. 
different. I, I wish that they taste I like a milk. Tell, I wish I could tell. Yeah, we'll taste it. Go, give me the. Uh... So hang on, guys. We're just gonna figure out. Wow, that's really good. This one has. Uh... Oh, what is that? I need to... We're gonna we're gonna pour up the uh, the bitters, which do have alcohol in them, and taste them. So this is the Islay. Actually, just needed to, that's a lot. Just to taste it. Well, it was for both of us. That's why I poured She's a straw. This is the Space Side Manhattan. Hmm. Oh, what is in that one? Too much cucumber for me in the Space Side. That's definitely got cucumber in it. That's hot. What's going on? Hebrew Hebrew Hammer, appreciate that. Go birds, bro. Uh shout out from New England. What's going on? Or from England. Pronounce I lay. Well, thank you. I guess now we know. And then this one is the this one is the I lay Manhattan. So you just use a ton of that. You're just this is really good. Use this. Hold on. That one's that one's shit. I don't like I don't like the, the cucumber in that one. It it's mm. Isla, not Islay. Isla. Okay. Now we know. Isla, and I like I like that one. Well, no, that's not the one. We're gonna use the Isla Manhattan. We're gonna make it with the Isla. So thank you guys for the correction there. Um let's see, TikTok. I apologize. I haven't seen the comments here. You guys are awesome. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. I like, is that how you pronounce it? Quick Tales, what's going on, bro? Mm. Do you bartend for a living? No, he does not bartend for a living. Um, how old are y'all? I'm 26, he's 55, so about 30 years apart. All right. Uh, you guys are the Get best. Ready. To raise a glass to my little golden today. What happened? She passed this after, oh, Sorry to hear rest that. in peace. Dogs are part of the family, that's for sure. That's true. Lots of love from the Netherlands. Love your videos. Keep it up. Okay. Wow. Small that. Oh, that's beautiful. That is Brand, delicious. Brandy chat. That is delicious. Wow. How's it going, guys? Keep it up. That's a treat. Inspire me. You inspire me to build a bar. I want to get ice cream. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to get ice cream and put, the, put this cherry on it. We should go to the creamery. We should go to the cream mate. All right, brand the cherry. I'm just hanging on. What are we making? So, guys, we got sent an awesome package from Johnny Walker. We're gonna be making a. We're gonna be making a high rye Manhattan because they sent us all the ingredients to make one. Um, I've never had this before. So hopefully, it's pretty good. I wish we'd like. Huh? What? No, we're gonna just show. Them. Yeah, let me, let me let me do it. I'd be happy to. Go ahead. Okay, first step, board. What kind of wood is this? Uh, I thought it was cedar. I think it no, is cedar. it's not hickory. I think it's hickory. I didn't say it's hickory. Not, it's not cedar. You bought it? It's hickory. You I bought, bought it. it. Yep. Yeah, it was it was hickory or cedar? Yeah. No, it's not cedar. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this. First, I'm going to smoke the board. So... Whoa. Put the glass in there. Smells smells Put great. The glass in there. Okay. Hold on. Watch that. Okay, whenever you're ready. There you go. Put the flame out. Okay, see that? Let that get smoked. Oh, there you go. That there smells there nice. There it is. All right, we're gonna leave that there. We're gonna come back to that. That's awesome. All right now we have our cherry. We have our cherry here. We're gonna leave that here. We're gonna come back to that. Okay. Wait, you're doing you're doing too much up here. It's okay, no, you're leave it. Too much. Let they them can't see, see you. They can see me. They Both can't can see, see you. Me. They can't see you. Just now Who you're can't good. see me. You're good now. TikTok can see me. No, they can't. Now they can because the brandy cherries were in your way. Now they're not gonna be able to see the drink you're making. You make the drink right here. I'm gonna show you the drink. All right. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Here, we're gonna, we're gonna pan this down a little bit, guys, so you can see the drink, which is more important than us right now. Well, I'll sit there. There we go. Here, and we'll take this out of the way. 
Love you guys. Breaking okay. racks. Appreciate that, my man. Awesome tip. Why does everybody keep saying RIP Nelk Boys? Like I've seen that. Hmm? If somebody can give me some, is that a joke or something? I don't know. Why? Are you from Verona? Yes. There you go. Yes. Am I from Verona? What do you think? You see that? Hillbilly. Hillbilly forever. So wait, this may not be. What? Those are bitters. Maybe it's it's probably bitters and some like. Well, I don't need vermouth. I'm maybe sure it's a combination is... of vermouth and bitters. Maybe it's like both of them. No. Yeah, check it out. I don't know. Read there's, that. Nothing, there's nothing that says it on there. I think it's a, I think it's more like a, a vermouth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So then use that as the vermouth and add some bitters. I'll just grab some orange bitters. Yeah, so guys, this is the first time opening up this box. We did it live. Uh, you're you're with us here. I think that's, I think that's what these are. I apologize for not knowing yeah. specifically, but no, use this, use this, and use those yeah. for the, the vermouth. That's what these are. They're like <clears throat> like a sweet vermouth. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use the rye. This is a Manhattan. I've already smoked the glass for those people who have just tuned in. Wait, where's your phone? It says scan the QR code on the on the is it going? Scan the QR code? Because look. Oh, for the drink? Maybe that's what they're they're hinting at. Where do you see that? Look right here. What's going on here? Is there no to scan the QR code? Yeah, but my No, you don't take a picture of it. <laughs> here, you hold us. <laughs> Oh, I did this. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Let's see what that says. It says, it must be 21. So I got to enter in my date of birth. Oh, Just boy. in case. Oh, my gosh. Rest in peace, Nelk Boys. Here we go again with the Nelk Boys comments. What's up with the milk boys? I don't know. Canada in the building. What's going on? This is crazy. I got to enter my birthday. I got to make sure. You need to try to find Wiggly Bridge Distillery Bourbon. Never heard. Howlerhead. We have some Howlerhead in the um in the cabin over there. Yes. Yeah, so Shout out for Virginia just, Beach as we sip Woodford Reserve. Cheers, Phil. Appreciate that, my man. This just gets you to the bottle. So, All right. So. Yeah, make that with the remove. That's the remove. I know it is. All right, good. I believe it is. There we go. Let's make it. Let's do it. People are waiting. All right. Glass is smoked. Cherry is ready for the finish. <laughs> Trying this rye. All right. Crack it open. Mm, smells good. All right. One and a half, two ounces. You gotta go get a big cube, my man. Go yeah, get a big cube. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. All right. Got your rye in there. We're gonna use this vermouth blend. We're calling it a vermouth blend. Just a little bit, a little splash. It's fine. That works. Okay. Appreciate y'all content. I'm mixologist from Ireland. I love your videos. That is awesome. much appreciated because you know your stuff. Spirits are in the glass. Now you put your ice. Put your ice in. I need my strainer. Strainer. Uh, hold on. AG says, gentlemen, I wanted to ask your opinion about Old Forester. I just started exploring Bourbon Universe and wanted to know what you thought. AJ, I appreciate that uh, that tip, my man. He asked for old, he asked for, how you feel about Old Forester. Old Forester's a, a good bottle. I mean, I... I personally don't, uh, I wouldn't say I drink a lot of that or had a lot of that. Lately, it seems like. Wait, you got it? What? Yes, I'm gonna. I will. Because I'm talking here. Hold on. Okay, a couple dashes of bitters. Mm -hmm. 
All right. See this? Nice. Love watching you guys. Keep up the great content. Appreciate that. We definitely will. Wow. I picked the wrong week to stop drinking. Okay. Here. Now we're going to pour you out. Here, check this out, guys. See the, see the smoke? See the smoke? There it is, people. All right. Look smoky, smoky. I'll hold it. Take care. Okay, ice. Dad yeah, stopped drinking. Yeah, for a couple weeks here, guys. A little reset for him. A little reset. Hit the reset button. Hit the reset button on. What are we making? We made a Manhattan sponsored by Johnny Walker. They sent us a beautiful Cherry. kit with their high ride. Cheers. And there it is, everybody. Hey, mom. Mom's in the video. There she Cheers. is. For anybody that asks if we have a if we have a uh, a mom or a wife in the uh, picture, there she is. And there she goes. Okay, what are you doing? Yeah. Cheers, Johnny. Smells delicious. There she is, everybody. She's got to go walk the dogs, though. Got to take care of Tino and Zeus. <laughs> Did you see Zeus? Are you got to try the Budweiser Holiday Nog. Probably not. That sounds terrible. This is Zeus. He's new to Here our we thing. go. He's new. He's shy. He's a border collie. He's shy. Look at, him. Look at the ears on this guy. Huh? All right, you gotta go. pretty, pretty delicious here, I, I must say. Huh? What do you think? Mm, do you like rye? No. Rye is isn't bad. Oh, okay. Because rye is very, it's very different than a bourbon and a, and a, and a whiskey. Yeah. Because it's made from predominantly rye. Yeah. Right? Versus corn or grain. So... Right? Understood? Got it. Yeah. I can taste it. Yeah. And listen, so, some of these, some of these, uh, the, 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 there's also something while we're talking about this, you know, bourbon, rye, whiskey, scotch, right? They're all blended differently. Each one of us, our chemistry inside our bodies is very different. So you may react quite differently when you drink a rye than you would a bourbon, which is predominantly corn, right? Or a scotch or any other that's predominantly grains. So part of learning this, the differences between cocktails and drinks is, is also knowing what sits best with maybe your body chemistry, right? So somebody asked, why do you like rye for Manhattan's? I personally like the, the taste of, of, of a rye. Um, but that being said, I like a bourbon neat. So there's just it just it just becomes a preference, yeah. And 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 there's no I don't think one is better than the other. It just it's a it's a preference, and, and sometimes the way the cocktails made. I like taking a rye, and actually we have a barrel and putting it in a, a seasoned barrel for several months with like some Luxardo cherry juice or um, even a couple of coffee beans, and that softens it even a little further than what you get out of the bottle. But you know those are again those are some extreme examples of just different ways of preparing your cocktails. But I'm glad you enjoyed that, Johnny. Good for you. Somebody asked, why is dad doing a reset? I just feel like it. I feel like there's times when, you know, you get into the habit and the routine of doing anything uh, and it becomes such that you, you don't even realize what you're doing, right? Um, for those, and I've never smoked, but I have friends that say to me, you know, they, they smoke, uh, they'll smoke one cigarette. And then they'll say, oh, I only smoke two a day. And then next thing I know, several months later, they're, they're up to, you know, three or four a day. And then, you know, a year from now, they say, oh, they do a pack a day. You know, you, you don't sometimes realize how it just gets away from you. So I'd rather control it versus it controlling me. And this is my way of saying, having a good time. I stop. I'll hit the reset. Uh, I'll eat better. I'll, I'll cleanse my body a little bit. And, um, you know, it all is part of just what your own personal preferences are. And I'm certainly going to have my share of cocktails again. It's not like I'm, I'm, I'm giving them up. I just want to, like I said, give it, a little, give it a little break. And so with that in mind, here we are. He's enjoying it. Here we are, guys. I'm so enjoying it. anyway, that's new. We just got sent a beautiful kit from Johnny Walker. Um, and we made a Manhattan with it. So this is high rye, blended scotch whiskey. Um, 
a rich and rounded blend of whiskeys crafted from rye barley and wheat married with the finest single malt, Johnny Walker distilled, blended, and bottled in Scotland. So really good stuff. Thank you to everybody at Johnny Walker for sending this over. Uh, what age did dad lose his hair? 24. 24. Uh, 24. So I got him beat. Uh, if you could drink with any cre creator or creature, real or fiction, what would it be? I don't know. It's a tough if one. I could, if we could drink with I'd like to drink with, uh, I mean, a few people. Kevin Hart comes to mind. How about Kevin, Kevin Hart? Hart would be good. How about Kevin Hart and The Rock? Can we put both of them in the same room? Hang out with those guys. That would be good. Ray Gonzalez, appreciate that tip, my man. Love what y'all do. Keep up the good work from Texas. We may have to come down to Texas. We've got a lot of fans down there. Yeah, we do need to go. I mean, that several says dad's going to taste it. Is dad going to taste it? Yeah, I'll yeah. taste it. Yeah, I'm just going to taste it. All right, you could, you could sip it. No, I don't want to sip it. I don't want to sip it. Where did you buy the wood to smoke? So um, I'll just go to the grocery store and get like they'll have smoke boards for normally like uh, on the grill if you're going to smoke like salmon or something like that. So check. Normally it's in the grill area or if it's in like the salmon area. Right. Um, so ask for like a salmon grill board if you want. Right. But we had better boards. We're going to get some we boards do. out. We, we have, used to we sell have, boards. We sold really nice yeah. boards. We ran out. This board, this is uh, this is like a hickory. I like the cedar boards, and we have someone who's working on putting a brand on the boards. Jason, so love you guys started. from Texas. Appreciate that, Jason. Yeah, so we we are working. We're coming out with a. We're coming out with boards. Um, people were asking about the Johnny Drinks bourbon, so we did run out of the last batch, guys. But we were in Utah talking about making a second batch. Um, to be honest with you guys, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon because we want to get this one right. We want to do this. Um, you know, really knock this one out of the park, make it our own brand, which takes a lot of time and energy. And we want to just make sure that we're doing it with, with the uh, with the right people. We're so. gonna, we we are we're definitely aligned with a lot of good people, and we we uh, want to make sure that again, the last batch that we had that went out, we ran out, and we don't want to run out. We want to create some excitement around the Johnny Drinks Bourbon, and and some of that uh, you know branding that we are going to be doing a lot more of. And so it's going to take a, a, a longer commitment. So sometimes, most of the time, it's better to just um, understand your direction, right? And figure out that path that you need to be on in order to get there. And it's with that in mind that um, he just said, you know, we went out to Utah, the Clearwater um, Distillery. If you're ever out there, you got to go check those guys out. We had a lot of fun and I'm certain we're going to be doing something together. Um, but for, for right now, we're not sure what we're going to do with the with the bourbon. So we'll uh, we'll revisit that, right? And we have some things that we're still working on. And in the meantime, we're going to deliver some videos and set you guys up with some good longer content on YouTube. So what do you always say to everybody on, on the YouTube? Uh, link in the bio, share, click the link. What do you say? Subscribe. What do you say? What do you well, the, I mean, if they're here, they're probably subscribed. But I'll if subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, guys, on YouTube, we definitely appreciate that. we got a lot of cool content coming out. Um, working pretty hard with long-form content, which has been a lot of fun. Um, could you guys do a video on Japanese Kujira Ryoku, Ryoku 30 years? I've never heard of that, Carlos, but I appreciate that tip. Um, if we can find some, we will uh, We'll definitely try it out. What is it? 30 years? Uh, our interest rates going up. Somebody asked. Yes. There you go. Here's your answer. Definitely. How many, <laughs> how many pistachio cupcakes can you eat? Um, infinite, infinite amount of pistachio cupcakes. What, I can we, eat. Do we have any? I think if it was a challenge, I, I think I would win that challenge. Do you have any? So if you want to put it to the test there, who was that? Um, Probably one of your friends. Who asked one of those? Who asked, who asked that question? Who was that? One of your friends? What's I think that was, I think that was Nico Aronson asking about oh, the pistachio okay, cupcakes. Yeah. If there's one guy that could beat me, we should test that out. <laughs> if there's one that guy that can beat me in that competition, I think it's Nico. Nico, win, Nico wins hands down. He's got you beat right out of the gate. He's a veteran. He's a veteran in the competitive food space. What's your dad's I, favorite bourbon? Oh, I like. I have a lot of good bourbons. I, I really liked our blend. I think our Johnny Drinks blend was really good. Not because our name was on it, but because it was a blend that was soft. We have. Uh, so many different great bourbons now they're all good uh, to be honest with you if you put five different bourbons three different bourbons in front of me equally of uh aged not even price point i don't care if it was a two-year four-year 
uh, or older, um, I can taste a bourbon that has got a softer finish to it, right? So that's what, for me, that's uh, the line of uh, you know, the line of delineation when you think about how that that hits your tongue and the back of your throat and the burn and, and you know what it goes through in terms of uh, the smells and, and things like that. So you really just it's a personal preference thing. You. Money, and we're talking about in, in a certain category, right? I'm not talking about a super aged bourbon we had out in Clearwater, it was a nine year aged, and that was like a little piece of liquid gold. We drank that, and you could tell that that has been around for a period of time, was made very well. And so, you know, I'm talking about a regular, you know, similar aged, you know, four year bourbon compared to another four year bourbon. They're, they're all very good. So, uh, just have to try and you know sample them out for yourself and price point is going to drive you know it's going to drive the bus a lot of times right so captain jose asks no any mexican drinks thank you for that tip captain jose not really i mean uh we drink coronas so that's about it but say mexican drinks Mexican drinks we've made micheladas well, before but we didn't do it too well, well and we caught some heat on that one yeah well we, we like our uh, tequilas or mezcals. I like some of the smoky, uh, smoky mezcals that we've had. That is very true. Those are good. I got some great tequilas. Yeah. Go to drink on an island. Oh, it's got to be something with an umbrella. I mean, some pina sort of colada is nice. Daiquiri is nice. But you can't drink too. You can't drink too many of those. And that, that's cool too. But it's probably. I like a banana daiquiri. You know that? I actually. There's a drink, a dirty banana with banana and rum in it. That was really, really good. Sounds delicious. That was delicious. Those are delicious. Finally got a chance to drink Low Sundays. Yeah, we've been drinking Low Sundays for about five months now, and really, really good stuff. We've been working them, working with them, I think since July. Great company, great people, great tequila. So if you guys are in a liquor store and see Low Sundays um, in the tequila section, definitely grab some. Yeah, we like. I like. It. They, have the, they have the coconut vodka. It's pretty good. Too. Really, really good. I am the coconut bay. tequila. Yeah, Apologize. it's okay. Uh, he says, "Great content." Wish my father and I had this respect. I am the bay. Thank you for the tip. I can't read any of these. Whoa! So somebody fast. sent me something crazy. I don't know what that. I was an arcade. I don't know what that arcade game, game means, but that's that's uh, that's pretty awesome. Impressive. Thank you. I never saw that. Is that is that the Johnny Drinks? It is him. You guys just know she like kettle. Uh, yeah, it's good stuff. What are the words in gold behind you above it? Spike. Oh, that says uh, do right and fear no man. Um, that is a mantra, motto, a slogan that um, I'm connected with a very long time ago. It's prominently displayed in all of the del fresco steakhouses double eagle steakhouses um it's in new york city for one and it's it's behind the bar and, it, and all of the uh del fresco establishments it should be uh should be there as well at some some place do right and fear no man so this guy here surprised me for my birthday um several years back i think probably at this point Nine, nine years, years about nine years ago, maybe eight years ago. We've been here nine years, by the way, John. Not nine years ago. How many years we've been here? It wasn't when I was 16, it was when I was 20. Well, we've been here, we've been here nine years. So, and we've been here, 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 we've been So, six years ago. Hmm. Okay. I can't find those Sundays where I live. Um, I think they're like all over the place. I gotta be oh, honest. That chandelier? Chandeliers, things are flying around here. Thank wow. you guys for that. Come back to Nashville. Where we love to, man. Nashville. Listen, if you're going to go to Nashville and visit, plan for a good three days. Because any more than that, I think you're just going to be really tired afterwards, right? What do you think? Yeah. Nashville is like Vegas. Uh, a lot. You, it, there's a lot going on. You better rest up, hydrate before you go, <laughs> and have fun with it all. But it's it's hard to trip. it's hard to. Go, I think more than I think three days is perfect in Nashville. Um, we had a great time. We definitely enjoyed meeting a lot of people out there. It was good stuff. Hi, hi, most recommend. expensive bottle in the Johnny Drinks collection. The Bourbon Basement sent us a tip and wants to know the answer. The most expensive bottle you got? Most expensive bottle of bourbon? No, no, of anything. 
Oh, no, we have here. Probably the Louis. Yeah, the Louis is easily the most expensive. But bourbons, I have, an, I have an Elmer T. Lee. That's a good bottle. That's a, that's a good bourbon. They what said else? show it. They want to see it. The bourbon? Well, what do you want to show? The bourbon? And do you have the, the Louis? And let's see what he gets. Suntory whiskey uh, is okay. It's it's. I didn't love it, but that's also not my style. I want to open, want to open up this soon. This is a, a, a really good bottle. That is a really good bottle. Right? So it's a good price. I mean, it's probably worth four. I don't know, four hundred bucks, five hundred bucks. I'm not super crazy about spending a lot of money on a lot of. There's so many good. Again, I will put this up against to the normal person that probably doesn't know any one way or the other um you do a blind test you could probably taste the difference but the reality is there's a lot of good bourbons out there that i can put this up next to. what is too much for a bottle carlos that is all subjective man that's on you what you want to spend on a bottle depends where you're going what kind of bottle it is um and what your budget is you know what i mean don't want to overstretch but also if you want to impress somebody you may have to grab a nice bottle can we get a johnny drinks take on eggnog we're gonna definitely make an eggnog drink this year because we didn't do it uh last year these are so look how pretty those that bottle is there it is right well, look how this is crystal Tennessee, right are we going to record any more podcasts we are we're going to get back on the podcast wave i think our next podcast is going to be this you see that? next weekend it's going to be the next podcast the next podcast can you guys see the, the yeah you go the artwork yeah. look at that the leaf print in the inside of all the Hennessy. All right, it's just a good looking bottle. So, again, somebody from Japan says, I subbed because your dad looks so cool. I used it to study some English listening. That's awesome. We're teaching, we're teaching uh, English worldwide now. You're, te you're teaching English Johnny Drinks language? Tap the glass. Where can I purchase your whiskey? So, we are sold out right now, guys. I do apologize. But we are working. We're working. We're, we're working. We're looking. We're very interested in, in uh, coming back out with the right effort to uh, make sure that when we go back out and start selling it that we have the right support you know all around so stay tuned stay tuned for that the bottles you showed us what kind of liquor was that you uh, cognac well, I'm over maple tea whoa what's going on over here Galaxy is getting sent. These are cognacs. Have you tried an espresso martini with tequila? Um, yes, I think. I love espresso martinis, though. The way you guys vibe together is awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that with my son. I appreciate that, man. Uh, are you going to do a reset like pop soon? I think so. Maybe uh, this probably would have been a good week to do it. I've done it before. I haven't done it in a while. I'll go like a couple. I mean, this will probably be like my only drink for the week until like, I don't know. We'll see. That was a lie. Uh, go to drink. It depends where I'm going. If I'm at like a nicer restaurant or a cocktail bar, I love dirty martinis. If I'm at like a party bar like a nightlife bar i normally just get like tito's and club maybe a splash of lime juice love your tiktok thank you man um anything coming out you've got to keep an eye on carlos great question man we are always stirring something up um we have some merch coming out so be on the lookout for that guys because what we're going to do is we're only going to do a one live drop we're going to sell all the shirts in one live session that's going to be the one and only time you can get the t-shirts that's going to be exciting. Um, for the holiday season, we're going to be doing some maybe uh, some sort of like bar essential kit for home bars. So that's going to be pretty exciting. We have some NFT projects we're working on. So that's on the hush hush right now, super high level. But if you're into NFTs, that's going to be a really, really good one. How often do you drink? I'd like to think you're not an alcoholic. So I guess we can address this for everybody up here. We are definitely not alcoholics, guys. You got to remember this is social media and it isn't always what it seems maybe we're making drinks four or five times out of the week most often we're not drinking all of them maybe we're splitting them between one another 
we've thrown them out. Um, we've given them to other people. So no, we're definitely not drinking every day. We're definitely not alcoholics. Um, everything in moderation. We don't spread that as our narrative at all. So if there's one thing we can say, make sure that you do drink in moderation. Yeah, You'll um, enjoy it more. Quite honestly, you, you'll enjoy the spirits more. You'll get a chance to, you know, broaden your uh, experience. Always go to the same drink over and over again. And your, your goal is to drink them fast and, and get some sort of reaction out of it. That's, to me, that's, uh, I guess, one way you could do it. Um, but the truth is there's so many great spirits and cocktails and things you can you can try and sample. And that's the variety of it, right? I mean, it would be like saying you, you, you like pizza, but you only eat pizza the one way all the time and you just eat it to, to get full. Okay, it serves a purpose. You ate it, you were hungry, you got full, but you really don't know what it's like maybe to put some other you know, types of things on top of the pizza to uh, enhance the, the flavor and the experience of it, right? So uh, it's the same thing with anything with all these cocktails that we make and uh, the different variations of, of the spirits that, that are out there for you guys to try. Um, there's another question I just saw here that I was gonna, what kind of wood? We talked about the wood, smoke the glass. This was a hickory, you can use hickory, you can use um, cedar, I'm not, not cedar, you can we'll use cedar, I'm sorry. You can use a cedar plank. Um, those are all great fragrances. You could also take, um, you know, you could take and you could put on these boards you could put rosemary, you could put thyme, you can burn a, a lot of different um, things to, to kind of bring on a, a different sort of flavor uh, in, in the smoke. So um, we've done some of that as well. Um, somebody asked me, what is your uh, first time drinking? What was your first time drinking? First time drinking was not good. <laughs> I don't think it ever is. No. It was not good, right? Because you don't know. You don't know the limitations of what alcohol can do. And as a young person, anybody who's listening that is of below the age or not quite matured, as we'd like to think, you know, you, you got to be really careful because you could drink and throw back some vodka, some brandy, some, some different, you know, a lot of these drinks today are, are higher alcohol content. And you got to be really careful. And um, it's no joke because you can you know, overdo it really easy and quick. And before you know it, you're really sick and you could be in the hospital. So, you know, respect it and be patient. You have a lot of time to figure out where your social experience is going gonna, is gonna to be. So, um, you know, be patient. Yep. Uh, would you guys do a podcast? We actually have a podcast already. Haven't filmed one in a while, but we're going to pick that back up, I think, Thanksgiving weekend. So stay tuned on that. Um, we're going to do one Saturday. Are we doing one Saturday? Not a podcast. Oh, we're not doing Saturday the 20th? What are we doing? Just a video. Oh. Um, take, uh, Instagram, YouTube. Oh. Are we sponsored by any liquors, liquor companies? Great question. The answer is yes. So if you notice, a lot of our videos have the same liquors used. Uh, Low Sundays tequila is one of them. Gunpowder gin is another one of them. Um, We've used whiskeys in the past that we promoted, uh, but but at the end of the day, whatever we use and whatever we promote, we believe in. Yeah, we're not going to sell you guys things that we don't actually enjoy and like. Whether it's um, liquor, something we use for making cocktails, something non-alcoholic. So if you see it on our page, guys, yeah. we believe in it. So and we definitely will say that. That's really important to both John and I. You know, we are. This is who we are. Um, we are authentic. We're going to remain as transparent as we can with everybody. It, it, there's an accountability here. And I think we both understand it really well. If we like something, we're going to tell you we like it. If we don't like it, we're not going to use it and we're not going to support it. Um, because the reality is there's so many options out there. There's no, there's no sense in watering this down, right? Watering down this experience for you guys or us. And I would love to be able to show you all the different liquors we have here. There's just way too many. And some bottles that we get, we haven't even had the chance to open. And, and that's just a, a function of, of where we are in this the process of, of delivering the content and sharing with you guys some of the things that you want to see. Uh, so we have ideas and we want to go down maybe, you know, a certain road and, and give you a video yet 
someone else kind of makes us turn off of that because you guys have given us some great feedback. So we, we try to um, truly be mindful of that and, and always uh, be relevant in whatever content we're pushing. So thank you guys for the feedback, for the support. And um, yeah, just know again, we're hopefully, hopefully getting it right more times than not. Where are you from? I'm from North Jersey. North Jersey, what do you do for work? I'm in mortgage finance. I'm doing it for 30 years. That's my, that's my. Can we contract. collab and I send high-end bourbon samples? Bourbon basement, send some over, man. Can we do a Sure, we'll sample it. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, love from <laughs> India. I like that comment. The dad is way cooler than the song. Yeah. I'm sorry. I should I should have read How the other one. I should, read that one. I should read that one. How come I didn't read the other one? That was mean. Oh, that, that was mean to you. I'm not even gonna well, say it. No, that's okay. Mean. That's all right. You can read it. It's all it's all feedback. It's all right. It's okay. What was it? What do you say? That's no, all right. I'm corny. No, it's okay. I hid it from you. Did I didn't. You? I didn't want to. I didn't want to spread oh. any sort of negativity. But that's okay. That's not negative. That wasn't. Why is that negative? That's just. It's. You can't say it's negative. It's just someone's opinion. And that's that's fine. fine. It's all good. It's all good. It's fine. Can't listen. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never harm me. Right? That's corny. Um, That's about as corny as it gets. But guess what? It's true. Because words don't really resonate to maybe the, today. You know, this is something we're going to talk about next week too. We're going to talk about that a little bit because too often, too many people look too deep into text and emails and the words and the depth of what someone made it's just words relax chill out it's all good are we both named johnny yes how old is the son i'm 26 just turned 26 last month oh let's see good so um, i made your apple cider drink with bourbon it was amazing oh, thank you yeah apple cider is great we we made a fresh apple cider um, must be a year ago now at this point right it was probably the fall last year it was a lot of work. It was, the, it was the apples. It was the cinnamon. It was oranges. Yeah, it, it came out really good. I think we're gonna try to do that again, right? Yeah, we gotta go. We we didn't go apple picking this year. That was probably oh, we missed that part of, part of the problem because when we did it before, we had a whole bushel of apples. Paul, thank you for the tip, my man. That's awesome. Um, has your dad learned the Starbucks language yet? Speaking of guys, if you guys have not seen on YouTube or TikTok, we just had a new long form YouTube video out published yesterday. So check that out. We took Starbucks, we took Dunkin', um, we took their pumpkin spice lattes, we compared them and then we, then we made cocktails with them. So it was a lot of fun. Um, so check that out and find out which ones we like better. Doc Holliday, nice comment, Doc. Just thanks for that. I saw it went through real quick. I had a chance to read it. Good stuff. Oh, let's see. Still a rose, I'm sure. God, these these are flying over. This is a little slower, I should say, than that one. I can't read that one. Um, well, there, yeah, there's a lot more people here. Where? Over here? Well, you uh, follow that one. Let me try to read these. These are slower. Well, Your battery's good. dying on this. Oh, yeah, we got to get going soon. Oh, we got to get going soon. The battery's dying. When the battery is dead, that means it shows you. Could you go a day without time. alcohol? Oh, this guy's back. Who's I don't know how to ban him, guys. Does anybody know how to ban this guy? Who is it? I don't know. What do you guys get a spammy comments? Is that fun for you? Huh? Let's see. Who is, is he? Guy? He is he's bullying. I'm gonna write his what's he saying? I'm trying Where to report him. Well, what, what's he saying? Where this is, he? is harassing me. That's what I'm gonna comment. I'm I'm telling I'm telling on you on YouTube. Who is it? Report. If you believe you're in right. danger. Right. Okay. Whatever. Let's see if I, that I didn't let's see, see if that said. stops it. He just I don't know, he just like keeps replying the same comment. Uh, what's going on from El Paso, Texas? Get him out. I think I, I think I did it. <laughs> I, I didn't even see what he said. And you know what? Whatever. What's your favorite beer? Um, Corona. I like I Corona. Really drink beer. Well, let's be let's be specific. I mean, and, and I like Corona on the beach. I like Hefeweizen wheat beers in like October time. And I love imperial stouts, dark milk stouts, coffee stouts. Th that's my go-to. Um, I really enjoy them like in the winter like this. So 
Um, yeah, I haven't had one in a while, but those are pretty good. Oh, with Puerto Rico. Um, opinions on Crown Peach. I do enjoy oh, Crown hi, Peach. Hi, Mr. Ronnie. Someone said hi, Mr. Ronnie. I saw you went real fast there on TikTok, but hi. Can you slow down? Which I'm looking over here. You're looking over there. Look over there. I'm going to look over there. Try the ten times. Um, ever try a Coors Light and a pick? Oh, I lost that one. Sorry, guys. Uh, hello from the Bay Area. What's up? What do you, you think of Blanton's whiskey? Like no, can't. Hello from Oklahoma. Best duo on TikTok. Thank you. What did your pops think about Crown Royal? Crown Royale? Uh, it, it had a place in time for when we used to drink it. I, I honestly haven't had it in a very long time. Again, and it's for really one simple reason. I wish we could show you how many bottles of whiskey, scotches, and bourbon we get. And today's an example. This, this came, right? These came today. So... We're only two guys, and you know we certainly have friends that would uh, be happy to help us drink some of these things. But it just seems like we're spending more time doing the, the content videos than than anything else. So um, yeah, I haven't had Crown Royale in a long time. I say Royale, by the way. What are your thoughts on marijuana? Um, I told you, grow. What I tell you, growing up. What I tell you? Do you you know smoke weed? You pick it. Right, we pull weeds. No, I pull weeds from the garden. But how do you feel about smoke? it? I guess if people, you you guys enjoy it, enjoy it. I, I mean, it's legal, right? There are for medicinal purposes a value, and and um, I'm not opposed. To, I'm not against it. I just, for me personally, I just don't do it. Never did. Well, a couple times, I guess, growing up, you know, like anything else. But I wouldn't say that I was a, you know. I, that was something I went to. Kind of boring that way, I guess. Just, you know, keep it simple. But keep me on. My dad has my now. dad has cancer and we love your guys' videos. Oh. Charles, best of luck to your dad. We're, we're praying from over here. Yeah. If he has any suggestions for drinks he wants to see, let us know. Yeah. Well, Hoping the best for him, man. Favorite cigar. Ooh. I had Alec Bradley, right? Uh, yesterday. Thanks to my friends from Clearwater. Matt from Clearwater had that. Thank you. Very good. Um, but I like uh, Olivia Box Press Series V. Um, God, there's Patron. There's so many. Patron, there's so many great cigars there. Um, you know, listen, again, cigars are interesting too. You can tell when you have a good one. And, you know, price point, sometimes it does matter. But, um yeah so thoughts on peanut butter whiskey uh screwball tastes amazing it's gonna give you a crazy headache the next day so be careful but it's really really good uh hot is overrated weed infused what's your favorite tequila we have a you know right now we enjoy using low sundays uh that's very good i but i do you know we we work with Swole too. We work with Swole. I, I think Swole is a good tequila and it's an, kind of a like a no-name tequila. You guys may not have heard of it, but we've used it before. And I would put that up blind taste test to a lot of other tequilas when we've done it. We've done it against 1940, 1941. We've done it against um, uh, uh, Casamigos. We've done it against some of a lot of the higher, more expensive tequilas. And I enjoy that. It's a good, it's definitely a good tequila. Uh, is Blue Label worth the price? You could taste Blue Label different. If you put Blue Label against this guy, against the black, you're gonna you're gonna taste the difference. There, there's there's no doubt. It's it's smoother. It's 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 aged longer, and you know that's what happens when the barrels get a chance to do what they naturally do: contract, con, con, contrast, and expand, right? And in that movement, it, it soaks into the wood of the oak barrel and so that takes on properties of of the wood that's why there's no there's no joke there's a there's a difference between um a brand new oak white oak barrel one that's been used and repurposed for, for you know scotch let's say so you understand that you make your bourbons in brand new white oak barrels when they're done um 
people have purchased them and traditionally that's what they'll do with the scotch they'll take that barrel that's already aged a bourbon and they'll use that for their scotch scotch has to age a lot longer because of the uh contraction and expansion um differences and the climate differences and it really does matter how it takes on property so the longer it sits in the barrel and the humidity of, of degree variations that all has a bearing on what that spirit does and how it comes out of that barrel if that makes sense hope you guys um, appreciate that somebody asked how do you any tips for an interview so we're gonna be doing a youtube video about interviews mm -hmm. um very soon so we had the question how do you prepare prepare for a sales slash marketing interview well i mean if you any kind of job interview i don't let's let's keep this generic just for time's sake wherever you're going for an interview you owe it to the person that is going to spend time with you and potentially hire you you need to know a little bit about that company so start with that not necessarily the job that you're going for because the job you go for you interview for may not be may not be the job your offer and so if you go prepared knowing a little bit about the company that you're considering to work for that will set the tone on, on much of the conversation and so you can spend time talking less about yourself more about the company and asking questions about the company and so that person on the other side that's interviewing you would at minimum be intrigued that you know a little something about what you walked into okay so prepare yourself in the very basic function of that interview knowing where, where you're going uh, and then we're going to talk about how you dress and maybe some some of the things that uh, you want to be mindful of from how you carry yourself how you would you know shake somebody's hand or address somebody um, and again in this time and age where everyone's remote it's harder you, you fall into i said it earlier you know we're all creatures of habit we're all habitual with things and when you get in a routine of doing something in your own private space from the way you go to sit down in front of your laptop in a t-shirt and maybe underwear okay you, no one's there you flip your laptop up you're you're working that's cool that's convenient well, you got to break your, your habit now because you can't go to a job interview the way you would go sit down in your basement or in your kitchen. Right, so what's someone saying? Huh? The same guy. I thought I blocked him. I thought I got him. What's the matter with him? What's he, what's he, he saying? He keeps in the same comment. All right, bro. Well, take it easy. You're, you're, you're resilient. Nice. You're resilient, brother. You're resilient. Maybe, maybe you, whatever you do for a living, hope you're really good at it. But just be nice. We're, we're just Wait, I deleted, I deleted his message. How do I delete him? Well, whatever. Let's not spend time. With Hide you. user. Let Just let him go. Well, they already caught my attention, so the message will be hidden. All right. Um, your daughter was here. I don't know if she's still here. Hi, Diana. Is Diana out there? Diana, are you still there on TikTok? -y? Diana, where are you? Diana, you got to work. Doc Holiday, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> that's true. Diana, oh, she's still here. Thank God. Ring, ring tap the resume, too. That's Diana, a, that's Diana's fine. still here. That's good. She's still here, guys. How was your day, Diana? How was how was your day with mom? Yeah, Weller, uh, Weller Bourbon. Oh, dad doesn't want to. Dad's on entertainment. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. It's okay. No, Diana, you had a nice day. I know you had a nice day. Mom said you guys went down there, you guys with, with Joe and had lunch, and that's great. Love it. Diana's down there. But, but we're busy now, Diana, so thank yeah, you. Yeah, Diana, can't you see we're working here? Yeah, sorry. Uh, did you post tonight by the way Diana so Diana actually is our she's on our, is our social media manager she helps post on Instagram we have an Instagram by the way if you guys are not following Johnny drinks underscore she'll help with the Instagram she helps with um, the Facebook she helps with the email newsletter so Buffalo she's uh, a she's a beast over there Buffalo Trace it all starts much of it starts with Buffalo Trace one of the best companies one of the best distilleries i've not been up there if anybody knows anybody at buffalo trace we're in new jersey they're in new york right let's come on i gotta get i gotta get a, a tour of that place um but that's that's a, a a real top shelf that's where poppy van winkle's from i have a uh i had a bottle of it over there 
We'll see if it's empty. <laughs> Jeez, Terp God, you're a little angry over there. Um, nice place, thank you. I don't know how to stop these people from spamming. So if you guys can, can stop the spam comments, be greatly big mezcal fan. I'm gonna try that one out. Good idea. You read the bat, yeah. Puppy Van Winkle, Van Winkle's from the form of the family. This third night is this rare bottle. But let's show our seltzers. I don't think we've had them yet. Uh, signing off, positive thought, whomever tested positive with the cancer, it is beatable. I kicked its ass about 11 years ago. Stay positive, Peter. That is an awesome story. And you are absolutely right. Let me just check some of that too. Um, people on YouTube, I'm just curious, what kind of long form content do you guys want to see? So anybody that's out there, if you could leave a comment on what you guys want to see for long form content, that would be greatly appreciated. So we have a ton of followers from our shorts, but we're realizing that it's hard for them to see the other long form stuff. So we're trying to drive a, as much traffic as possible to our other. Um, do you see my super chat up in the comments? No, I don't think I did air enthusiast. So if you had a comment, please share it again. More podcasts, some workouts, an ASMR video. That's actually not a bad idea. Um, touring a distillery would be cool. We already have that one. It's filmed, but it's not out yet. So good, uh, good feedback. For YouTube, spirit tasting, compare and contrast different brands. Good idea. Um, Man, these are flying out. Buffalo, Buffalo Trace is in Kentucky. I apologize. And I said, what am I thinking that was? Uh... Spirits from around the world. Good idea. I was curious about if you had tried any Michigan whiskeys. I don't think so, man. I'm not. We haven't been out there. I've been to Detroit once, but I wasn't uh, I wasn't drinking. I saw you guys shorts, felt super relaxed, thought it was a, thought you, thought it was a bit of an ASMR channel. No, but we should, maybe we can, uh double down on that. I'll get a mic and just start scratching at it. What is the distillery? Collab with How to Drink. I would love to collab with How to Drink. So if anybody, if anybody knows him, let him know that we are, uh, we're calling. Who's this? If I was gay, which I'm not, which IPA would you recommend? What's that got to do with it? <laughs> oh, man. You need moderators to work in the chats. I agree. JB, if you want to be a moderator, you're in. What's a moderator will what, tell us? No, they can just help with like the uh, uh, the comments and stuff. Uh, I love the dad advice content. We can do more of that for sure. Amaretto, I love Amaretto. South America drink, I'm not positive. That's a tough one, man. Uh, if you need a moderator to clean up negativity in their chat, I'm your man, Philip. I don't know how to do that, but I would love to make you a moderator. Yo, how do you, how do you, uh, Let's see. Let's see. Philip, add moderator. Here we go. Perfect. Easy. Done. Philip, you are officially Phillip. moderator. Congratulations. Oh, hey, Philip. How strong is the bond with your father? Also, great channel. I would say it's pretty strong. And this page has definitely brought us uh, together because now we're not just father and son. We are now partners in this whole thing. Well, it's definitely, listen, there, there's there's a lot, a let's lot go, Philip. of good things we can say came from, uh, from this TikTok, right? From our first TikTok to where we are now. Right, yeah. I mean, I I can't be more proud of, of any one of my kids, let alone John and some of the things that that he's, you know, introduced me to and and expanded, you know, to a world that I I didn't know. So so this is all, you know, the whole social media thing for a guy my age is is very different. It's it's like uh, you guys of the younger generation trying to. Uh, hand write a paper in, in cursive in script you wouldn't know the first way to write something out in script but that's just the you know because of a, an age demographic so um this has been a really great a great time experience in all that that I've, I've been afforded by way of him and by way of you guys so thanks for all that it's been a lot of fun here emmanuel what's going on man I haven't seen you in a while bro Maker's Mark is good too. Doc Holiday, I'm 36. Don't have any social media. Doc Holliday. Listen, man, it's never too late. You're not old either, by the way, man. Yeah, yeah. That is, you, you can still get Is there anybody it. older than me right now? Anybody older than 55? Anybody? Anybody out there? 
We gotta we gotta get some of uh some Yosef, of your parents on here. Yosef help. says, What are you selling today? Nothing. Where's Yosef? Yosef? We're selling some love, man. Yosef, it's I was talking spread. about swole before. Yeah, you missed it, dude. Maybe, had a ton maybe of I was selling. Yeah, you don't answer it. You don't answer anymore, man. Rick's right. Ricky sticks 55. Who sticks 55? Double nickels. Anybody got that? Arizona says 69. 63. I don't believe it. Wait, Aaron swore 69. Yeah, dude, he's 69. Oh, Arizona sure. Rangers 63. Oh, 69. Do you really think oh, he's 69? I oh, see. Come on, man. Going on now. Come on, guys. Can't you just look how excited you got? I mean, I'm all going now. You got so excited when you said 69. Yeah. D's nuts says he's 61. Do you believe him? D. Wait, why does it sound familiar? Who's D's nuts? Are you serious? Uh, I'm kidding. Like you guys, listen. I could play along too. Yeah, sure. You know what? I can play along too, but I'm not gonna. All right. Right. Just, that's that's great. Someone says I'm nine. Okay. Oh, nine. Oh, I'm sorry, young man. You gotta go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Man. Emmanuel still has a couple of bottles of Johnny drinks bourbon. Love to hear, it, my man. Ninety-six. Tristan's ninety-six. Make a drink with bang you energy. Guys, that's a good idea. Oh my life. Ah. You're gonna make me go to bed now. All right. What else? What else we got? What do you guys? Uh, now we're getting every. Oh, this one's a vampire. You guys are creative. Hello from Orlando. Port wine. Best I holiday used really drinks. Like port. I used to really like port wine. I don't drink a lot of port wine anymore. Um, oh, what's this say? What? What? Uh, never mind. It's probably another like. Backhanded. It is. That's right. Ask him. No. Nope. I'm not asking you. Okay. Talk. Do you need another moderator? Put me in. What about a fan sent drinks unboxing or bar crawl video? Ricardo, you're in, brother. Who's Ricardo? Who's Ricardo? I don't know, but if he's, Thanks, Ricardo. If he's willing to help, you are in, Ricardo. All right, let's do it. What about a fan sent drinks unboxing or great ideas, man? Arizona Ranger, you're 61 years old. You're asking me the best warm drinks. Hot toddy. Your maple margarita video is cut short. Only the rim is showed. Really? How what? long is it? Is it the whole? Is the whole forty some seconds? Guys, if you don't mind, if you can tell me if our latest short is cut short, that would be appreciated. Where, where do you want to see? Here, on YouTube. YouTube. Recently, no. Oh. How do you? How do you, you want to look it up or you want them? Johnny drinks seltzer. Great idea, man. If fifteen seconds, what? I gotta check that. I gotta fix it here. Check it. I can't check it now. Oh. All right, I'll change that, guys. I appreciate that. Oh, look, this is us right here. Yep. Oh, I see. Because this is my phone. Right, let me get off this thing. All right. So what else? Lost that last year. Love the channel. Seconds. Hector, I'm sorry for your loss, brother. Dad, what's Dad do for a living? Ch uh, check out our previous vids, but I do mortgage financing. So, so if you guys need a mortgage, hit me up in the DM. Best drink with Arizona iced tea. It's got to be a John Daly. John, Arizona iced tea, little uh, lemonade, uh, vodka, Arnold Palmer. You can use Arnold Palmer and just put vodka in it. But Arizona iced tea, splash of lemonade and vodka, John Daly. Okay, how's that sound? Let's see, what else? Uh, old fashioned or margarita? Uh, no, Manhattan. Manhattan, sorry, sorry, I can't see. It's Manhattan all the way. Uh, the shortest cut short yet. Thank you guys. I, I'm gonna take it down. And I'm gonna repost it tonight. Top five so gins. Top five gins. Yeah, uh, gunpowder. 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 Yeah. gunpowder. Okay. Okay. Yes. Gunpowder is is. We like gunpowder. You know which one I also like. Empress. I like Empress. Yeah, that was a cool. That, these that nuts, a, give it up, man. We get it, dude. These nuts, the these nuts. I'm not even gonna read that. I was gonna read it, but I'm not gonna. Read it. And you now guys, I'm gonna the remember. Best. Now we're not gonna forget that guy. I'm not even gonna. Gotta be nice. There's our there's our mods, man. Going to work, Ricardo. There you go, bro. <laughs> and these nuts got put on timer. How about that one? <laughs> Botanist Gin is good. Hendrix is really good. Hendrix is good. Bombay Sapphire. You know, Bombay Sapphire yeah. kind of is one you grow up with, at least, you know. I, yeah. yeah. But you know what? The, I think the best way to drink gin is in a, a Vesper Martini. I, I like the balance of a, a good vodka, 
uh, you know, two to one, three to one, however you want to do it, vodka and gin. And uh, I, love that. I, love, I like that drink, especially I'm looking forward to watching uh, the new musical as I've seen it. I haven't seen it yet, so don't tell me how, how but I'm going to do that. I'm going to make myself a Vesper and sit and watch it right down here in my, my home, you know, home basement television. And um, of course, I have to wait a couple more weeks because right now I'm just taking a little time out, a little break, drinking a lot of water. So Ricky Stick says, this is the 55 year old says, I securitized mortgages for 15 years, still on Wall Street, still killing after 35 nice. years. Good Seems like you, a Ricky bet Sticks. in the space, Ricky Sticks. Good for you, Ricky Sticks. Keep doing you. Top five bourbons. Did we talk about the top five bourbons? I mean, uh, I love, I, listen, okay. I'm just going to name some bourbons. I don't think there's, there's in no real certain order, but um, I do like, our Johnny Drinks blend. I talked about that earlier. Um, that was the blend that came from uh, Savage and Cook. M most of these, by the way, are um, bourbons that are, are not necessarily made at the distillery uh, at the place that is distributed. Okay. So there is a, a very niche market. Some of the more traditional places like Buffalo Trace um, and, and the older distilleries that they still take it from the soil to the oak tree that makes the oak barrels. I mean, they're doing everything, the corn that's growing in the fields. There's very, very few that will do that and take that process from the beginning to the end and do what they call bottle and bond. Um, and that's, you know, basically uh, producing the spirit and, and bottling it right in that same location that it's, that it's uh, aged. So there's a lot of good ones out there, uh, but I, you know, just pick, you know, pick a couple at the top of my head. I, and again, no certain order. I like Angel's Envy. I like High West. I like um, uh, Maker's Mark. Um, I like Basil Hayden. Um, there's um, Will Willette is uh, that's good too. You got Weller. Um, man, I, I just uh, I think that's a good solid handful um I, I do like um again any bourbon that you would put in front of me i would i would say we can we can appreciate and, and respect it because i personally like bourbons more than some of the other spirits uh, i like bourbon more than i i could say i like scotch so this is the personal thing how can you order johnny drinks bourbon unfortunately there is no more johnny drinks bourbon we are sold out we are in the process of uh, reconsidering our next direction of oh, an alignment with the distillery. We had uh, really one great conversation with a group of people, very nice people out in Utah. And uh, we're going to consider some things that are going to come from that. But we're just probably not ready to, to make that leap yet again, because when we supply real quick and we didn't know any better, right? We, to your credit, to our, our fan base and the followers, we didn't realize how popular it was going to be. And, you know, each barrel, each barrel of whiskey, bourbon, scotch, that barrel, that will hold anywhere depending on uh, the angel's share, what they call the angel's share. So if, if you actually give me a minute, I want to show you that something. Let me, let me share this one more story. Share something. Social media manager out. Okay, Diana, have a great night. Um, what are your thoughts on Popper 12? Not great, got to be honest with you. But Kyle, thank you for the tip. My brother, Popper 12. No. Somebody says um, hire him as an underwriter. Hit him up on LinkedIn, man, if you want a job. Hire, uh, hire as an underwriter? Oh, there's no underwriter. Okay. So let me just finish this thought. Oh, okay. So, well, those, those that you try not to. Oh, apply. Emmanuel says, my wife caters Greek food. Send some over, my man. Oh, Emmanuel, we love it. Oh my goodness. Grape leaves. All right. So this is a true wood barrel. Okay. So in this barrel, I put, um, you know, I put a bourbon, I put a cinnamon, uh, no peach whiskey. I put a peach whiskey in here. I put a bourbon in here. I put a couple coffee beans and I put some, uh, Luxardo, just sweeten up some Luxardo cherry juice. This is going to sit in here. It's been here for at least it's going on two months now. 
And my point of sharing this with you to kind of take my piece of side barrel, there are anywhere from probably 180 to 200 bottles, uh, 750, um, 750s that are in that barrel, okay? The reason there's a difference is they call it the angel share. So what goes in at around 50 something gallons into a full size barrel, what goes in doesn't come out. You lose in evaporation because these, this, these wood slats, the reason these rings are here, rings are here. To get um, then a Cooper put these together, a real size barrel, they put them together, they're steel rings, they bang them on there, they move. And so when these move, you lose through evaporation some of what you put in there. And again, it's the con contraction and expansion through humidity, heat, climate, different climates, uh, different environments, wherever it's, it's stored. And even sometimes in the warehouse, if it's on the bottom shelf or the top, right? We know that what? What rises? Heat rises, right? Cold drops. So the temperature down below is going to be cooler than the top rack. And that affects even if the same stuff went into a barrel, the stuff on the top rack is going to be affected differently than the, the uh, spirit at the bottom. Okay, so you get that? That's part of what we learned back to my original. Uh, Talk to them. This is, this is not working. Part, part of my original explanation was that when we did the Johnny Drinks Bourbon, we outsold very quickly and we had sold out like a thousand bottles like within right the first few no, right, the first few days we sold we sold out two two barrels right one barrel and a half barrel okay so tell so, so contribute here if i'm 100 if I forget, bottles. so 100 bottles the total totality of what we sold was about five barrels right now it's been about 1200 bottles yeah. all right so about 1200 bottles right well that was my point we sold out all those barrels or those bottles in those barrels and we had a demand for more like we do now we don't have it and it takes time to come together with the right company that's prepared uh to not only get us the product bottle it label it then package ship it and the expense that goes into that too so it's a whole again process that we've learned and we're still learning and figuring out but once we get the next uh batch of it together you guys will know all right in the meantime you just gotta stay tuned stay tuned Make it uh let's see any christmas cocktails Emmanuel? you know it my man we got a whole month of christmas cocktails coming up i have one uh i have one like that but it's not but it's not johnny what can i pour in there like scotch you could definitely pour whatever you want man try scotch jake nelson uh, thank you for the tip, Jake. I just bought a new house and we've got a very bare, wet bar. Five essential bottles should I get for under 300 bucks? What is it? He wants, to, he just got a new bar. He wants another five essential bottles you should get. Five essential bottles? Yes. Oh, so five different, well, you gotta have a, I, I would go a one in each, yeah, one in each category. You have to have a vodka. You have to have a gin. You should have a, a bourbon. You should have a scotch. And what I would say that last bottle should be tequila. You could definitely. I mean, you could you could trade out a tequila for maybe instead of a scotch. So you can have a, a bourbon and a scotch, or maybe a bourbon and a tequila. But one of the other bottles I was going to say you really probably want to get is something in the cordial category, right? Like an amaretta or a frangelica. Yeah. Um, a Kahlua, you know, some some sort of cordial. So you, you want to build out your bar with the basics, um, you know, the vodka, a bourbon, a tequila. Um, you can add in there, like I said, a, a gin, a scotch, and or then, like I said, some sort of cordial, Sambuca, Frangelica. Um, but you should have something, something that, that you can offer somebody uh, after uh, like an after dinner drink. Um, we actually don't like rum. That's why you probably don't see it in any of our videos. Yeah, rum's tough. I mean, rum's, rum's a, like, what do you do with rum? Rum and Coke, obviously. You do rum, you can make some, 
make some other creative tightness. We've done the, uh, did we do a sidecar with Ron? Yeah. No, what? Didn't we do a sidecar with Ron? What did we use at one time? We mixed it up. Side Ron is, um, you know, it's sugar based, it's sugar cane based. It's disgusting. It, well, it's not disgusting. Some people like it. So. Thank you guys. I'll come back to this later this weekend when I outfit the bar. Keep up the amazing. Jake, thank you, man. Let us know how it goes. Best of luck with the new house, by the way. Yeah, good luck with that. Definitely. Mai Tai. Yeah, I think we made a Mai Tai or maybe we Yeah, did. I know we did something. I don't know. We just haven't, we haven't done anything in a while. Thoughts on Japanese whiskey. We had Suntory and we had another one the other day. Um, and we did feature them one time. We haven't done it in a while. I'm a big fan. I feel like, uh, I feel like some sake. Oh, okay. I do. Tastes like dirty socks. I think it's delicious. I don't really like it. Hot and cold. Drink them both. Oh, hot, hot sake is like it's like basement water. I can't oh, even think not. about that. You said you had an awesome banana daiquiri. That's right. Well, I mean, that's easy to, to make taste good. That's well, that was well, no, that's true. Right, I did. Right, right. Yes, yeah. that's where that's where it belongs. Rum's Jamaican crisp rum cake. Sounds delicious. Oh, rum cake. Rum cake is good. There you go. Well, I that. like rum cake. That's another good use for rum. All right. Good. Someone says, shout out. Let's go, Brandon. Love your videos. Let's go, Brandon. That's awesome. Man. Rum cake. Mm. You should remind me. That is the best way. That's the best way to have rum in a rum cake. Soap. Soap. Rum cake. Maybe we'll make some rum cake because we don't you like know, to drink rum. Maybe you know we'll who made me cake. a great rum cake? Who? Christine Forte. Really? I'll bet. Forte's wife. Forte, sure. if you're in New Jersey, Forte's in Caldwell. If you're if you're a pizza lover and you're in New Jersey, go to Forte's. Without a doubt. Tell Mike and Anthony. Tell them Johnny sent you. Mike, Mike Forte's wife. Great rum cake. Does your pop have an MBA? No, he does not. No. No, I don't have an MBA. Is the rum cooked out of the cake? It is, Dee's notes. Welcome back, by the way. You're out of timeout. I think that the rum is also poured on top of the cake too. Like I know it's yeah, but it's not. You don't. There's no liquor right? normally. Is a rum cake? There sure is. You burn it out. You, you you make sure you retain the alcohol content of it won't be as as, as strong and as high. But you and a good rum cake, they'll pour it in on top and finish it. Actually, I should ask Christine. Where's Forte? Forte's in Cal. They have one in Caldwell, and they have the other one in where? Roxbury. Roxbury. Oh, Randolph. Called, oh Randolph. 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 Yeah, they want him Randolph. Yeah. You got to try him. Grandma, Grandpa Pie, best. Right, Johnny Square, what's up, gentlemen? What's going on? Pops is G. Thoughts on the Rocks to kill? It's actually pretty good. Definitely not we bad. Had, didn't we have it? I think the Rock does is good. Yeah. I just like the way the Rock. rock is uh, champagne base. Uh, I obviously don't mind mimosas. What's the other one? The French 75 with gin. I think that's uh, gin. What's the one? What's the oh hey there the glasses? What's the one with the um the grapefruit? I forget what that's called. What is it? I forget what it's called, or the peach or something like that. It's with champagne. Champagne. But uh, somewhat of B. What's it called? No, not a Paloma. It's with champagne. Um, Bellini. A Bellini. Yeah, Bellini. There it is. Bellini, you got it. It's peach. It's peach. Uh, peach nectar. Peach. Yep. Peach nectar and peach uh, Bellini. There you go. And it's peach nectar. That's it. And champagne. It's Bellini. A girl named Joey. I think that's your name. Thank you, guys. Bellini. You know Chef Nico. If you're talking about Nico from Buon Appetit, I definitely know Chef Nico. Aperol spritz are fire. Those are incredible. I'm loving Aperol spritz. Uh, watch from Mass, from UK, what's going on? From Ireland. Uh, what's a place you've traveled to and what was the best drink? Oh, that's a good one. What's that? A place you've traveled to and the best drink that was there. I haven't done much traveling just for well, drinks. Just like a, yeah, but like Utah didn't have like a specialty drink. French 25, oh, that's it. I see slush. Oh, you mean like a cocktail that was made? Yeah, I haven't been there. One, one of the best... Our Wi-Fi is so good over here. Why? Well, maybe because every device down. Jimmy there Love from right. Bayonne. That's what's up. Go stop by Bon Appetit for in Bayonne. I'll turn off my Wi-Fi. Will that help? Will that help? I don't know. Sandy, shout out, Sandy. I, some of the best drinks that I've had. Well, have you ever been to New York City? To New York City Time Bar? 
well, we went there, um, and those are some pretty impressive cocktails. Not that that should come immediately to mind. If you want to go get a nice cocktail in New York City, uh, in between fifth and fifth and twenty third, right? Twenty third and second. Uh, yeah, fifth and twenty third. Time Bar, T Y M E. We have a video coming out actually, so you don't have to write it down. Jeremy was an incredible, incredible mixologist. Um, One of a team, top five in Bayonne. Yeah, next time you go in there, Jimmy, tell uh, Nico, Johnny said what's up. Tell him Johnny drink sent you. Get the, uh, the Johnny. I think we have a sandwich there. And if we don't, tell him to make one. Love your channel. No, no. I got your hand. It. Hope the evening's going well. These are awesome. Love your content. Big up from Vancouver. Appreciate that, Derek. Uh, best spot in Michigan. I've only been in Detroit and it was only for a weekend. Um, can't wait for the NYC time bar vid. Yeah, man. That's gonna. Oh, man, I'm sorry, Nina. That's going to be a really good one. That's right. Hair grew back fast. Yeah, I'm actually going to cut it again. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep the hair on top or should I go like super short again? You let me know. You guys come to Miami. I, I agree. Uh, well, I don't know about bald, but I was going to go real short. I think the hair looks sick right now. All right, man. Shave it. Um, keep it definitely okay. Do you like boxing? I do. Big Canelo fan. High skin fade. Body like pops. Um... Get your hair done like pops. Grow it back. Short and beard. That's what I was thinking. Go a little shorter. I don't know. We'll figure it out. You done with this? Get a hard part and high mid fade. Jay, I used to. That's pretty much what I used to do. Short. Yeah, I I, I liked how it was when it was buzzed. A little a little higher than this, but obviously shorter than this. How do I go about obtaining com a commercial loan to open up a speakeasy? Uh, you need a small loan. You need a small business loan. You need a small business loan. Manual, good, uh, be good, man. Born and raised in New York, and that's what's up. Love from Chi Town. Where are we located? We are from North Jersey. Lisa says short. Okay, Lisa. Uh, best coffee liqueur for White Russian. Kahlua, Kahlua or Mr. Black are pretty much the only options. And that's going to make your own. Sending a bottle of King Louie your way. I'll believe when I see it, man. I'm North Jersey too. Let's go. Love from Detroit, brother. Will your dad adopt me? I'll ask him. North Jersey, let's go. Bergen County, that's what's up. Uh, enjoy football the most. Grow it out. I did when my daughter was born almost two years ago. Okay. Can I get a shout out? Thanks for the vids. Shout out. Love from Netherlands. Your favorite vodka. I like Tito's. Uh, like something. Hit that bell. Make sure we share this channel. I appreciate that, Ricardo. He's doing his job over there. No, not you. Rams getting smoked. Watch the game. What's the score of the Rams game? Anybody that's watching. Do we like Spike Eggnog? I mean, that's hard to beat, but we're going to definitely try it out. I like Spike Eggnog. What do you Spike gonna, Eggnog with? We're going to make some this year. Yeah, but you know what you're spiking with? I think you're spiking with rum. <laughs> you know, that's like a, co a conquito or something like that. Yeah, that, that's so funny. We're coming up with all these rum drinks now. Congrats on 1.6 million. Thank you, Hayden. Appreciate that, man. Spiced rum and eggnog. There you go. Yeah. Yep. How about that? We have all these rum drinks now. Maybe I do like rum. I'm sorry. Maybe I like rum more than I like scotch. Union County here. Are your videos all scripted? I mean, they all have a basic um, theme or topic to them, but no, yeah, not we don't. We script. don't script our words. You, you, yeah, you have to. You have to have a. You gotta have a direction of where you're going. Yeah. Otherwise, we just would ramble. Does your dad like a rusty nail? Do I like a rusty nail? Who's he asking? Scott McKay? Of course I like a rusty nail. Drambuie? Oof. 
rusty nail. You could use well whiskey. Uh, you can use bourbon. I don't think you can. I guess you could use scotch. Scotch is smoky. You could use that too. So whoever you want. I, yes, I like. I like. Thoughts on green tea shots? I mean, girls love them. So if you're at a bar, or you want to buy green tea shots? Go ahead. Gets the crowd going. It's a people pleaser. Gets the people going. All right, what else? I think that's it. How much to more? go? Should we say good night to everybody? I think we're good tonight, guys. guys I think we're go to bed. It's, it's been o'clock. it's been a while. Been an hour and a half. So I we're gotta, gonna, we're gonna I, head out tonight, guys. I gotta go to bed. Anyway. But thank you for watching, Johnny. Um, we're gonna be soon. Stay tuned. A YouTube video yesterday, so definitely check that out. Let us know how you feel. Um, and that is it for tonight. Yeah. So, peace out. See you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it, everybody. Hold on. We're not done. Don't be saying anything.